Now let us start with asexual reproduction in plants which is also known as one of the methods of vegetative, uh, vegetative propagation. So what actually this asexual reproduction is, asexual reproduction does not involve formation and fusion, fusion of the uh, gametes or sex cells and that's why we call it asexual reproduction. However, in sexual reproduction there is the fusion and the formation of male or female gametes and the lead to the fusion leads to formation of an embryo or a zygote got and what this asexual reproduction comprises uh, binary fission is one of the example of asexual reproduction fragmentation spore formation and budding which happens in different organisms so these are various examples of asexual reproduction and this asexual reproduction involves only one parent and offsprings which are produced they are genetically identical to their parents now what happens in asexual reproduction the part of plant it becomes separated from the parent plant and then it grows into a new plant and the new plants they are generally developing from an axillary bud of the parent plant and the parts of parent plant they are specially modified for this purpose and what can these modified parts can be it can be modified stems and in this modified stem runners are one of those examples of modified stem in which a horizontal running over the soil surface so runner uh, runners are nothing but they are a horizontal running over a soil surface and this occurs in strawberry and creeping uh, buttercup in which the terminal bud of the runner seeds they develop into a new shoots. One another example of this modification is stem tubers. In stem tubers the swollen underground stem uh, tip it uh, produces many various buds and these buds then produces new shoots which can develop, a, uh, develop into a complete plant and these uh, complete buds and these which buds re uh, result into a complete shoot is occurring in a potato. This is one of the example of runners which occurs in strawberry in which a complete horizontal branch is bent and it is dipped into the ground so that each stem can lead to the formation of various adventitious roots and then it leads to formation of a shoot system and then it forms a new plant. This is again an example of stem tuber which is again a modified stem which occurs in uh, potato. The next example of this modification is the modified, uh, modified roots and this modified roots occur in root tuber in which the swollen fibrous roots they convert into a complete shoot system and a complete plant and examples are dahlia and laser selenidin. So these are various examples of the modified roots however in tap root the swollen roots they are meant for the storage of food and they are not at all a reproductive organ or we call it sometimes biennial plants such as carrot and turnip. So these are few examples of tap roots in which the swollen roots they are not meant for reproduction however these swollen roots are meant for the storage of the food. This is one of the example of this root tuber which is dahlia in which this, this is a swollen fibrous root which give rise to a root system and then it, uh, it, this root system completely develops from a, a single bud. Next modification is the modification of the leaves because there are some plants, they have some plantlets along the edges of the leaves and these plantlets then leads to uh, production of a complete plant. These plantlets when they reach a certain size they fall apart and then they grow into new plants. Bryophyllum is one, of, uh, one such example of modified leaves which have some plantlets at the edge of a leaf and these plantlets then fall off and develop into a complete new plant. Next is the modification of the buds. In modification of the buds, this is this is the modification of bud in onion. And how this modification occurs? In this bulbs occur in the uh, onion, in where swollen underground bud, which has some fleshy leaves and reduced stem, it grows into a complete plant. So this is an example of a uh, bulb structure, which is a modified bud. So this is a complete structure of uh, modified bud, which also happens in def uh, def and tulip plant. Next, what is the difference between this, uh, this all methods which we have studied right now, these were all asexual mode of reproduction which we call it vegetative methods and there are some methods which are sexual uh, reproduction. In sexual reproduction you have a difference between sexual and uh, asexual is that in sexual we have a fusion and formation of gametes, however there is no formation and no fusion of gametes in asexual reproduction. So what are those few differences? In sexual reproduction cross pollination ensures that variations because cross pollination can occur in sexual reproduction therefore different variations or different mutations can occur in organisms. The next point is that the sexual reproduction it is more resistant to disease. The third difference between sexual and asexual is that the dispersal since cross pollination will require dispersal and this dispersal will reduce the competition between different plant species. 
the seeds they can remain dormant dormant is the inactive stage of the embryo so seeds can remain uh, dormant and they can survive some unfavorable conditions and until those favorable conditions are achieved this dormant seed can convert into the active stage this sexual reproduction it also favors evolution because through this mechanism we can know how it has evolved from the parent plant but there is a sure of establishing new daughter plant this is this is what happens in a asexual reproduction and the new plants they are well developed before separating from the parent plant and they also retain the parental genotype and the next difference is that the new plants which are obtained they are obtained in very shorter time they don't need a long duration and only one parent is needed since it is a sexual reproduction which is uniparental and sexual reproduction which is biparental and this organism which is formed through a sexual reproduction it is genetically similar to the parent plant the few other differences between sexual and asexual is that the seed production sexual reproduction it is complex and a lot of seed is produced however only few new plants are obtained since there is uh, pollination and there is dispersal and this dispersal depend on external agents which can be through wind which can be through water now the seeds and the fruits which are produced by sexual reproduction they can be eaten by the animals now asexual reproduction they do not grow individually they grow in clumps and they are therefore since they grow in clumps they have a competition for mineral they have a competition for light and space because they are growing at the same place but sexual reproduction the plants they are growing at a different place they are growing individually so though they don't have any competition for light space or minerals dobara kar lo dobara kar leti hu <laughs> 